Hi, Charlie Sagu again. I know when I was doing my last video, I was talking about super roos and camper trailers and prospecting and all that, but unfortunately the virus has sort of knocked that on the head for the time being. So I won't be able to get out until winter time now. But uh, for the time being, another little drama with my uh, car, a <laughs> little soupy once again. The air, con air conditioner's been, uh, been very noisy and it's screaming. First I thought it was the uh, tension pulley, which normally it is. That didn't seem to happen. I checked the clutch on it. Uh, the gap on the clutch was pretty good. But then I come to the opinion it must be the bearing inside the air condition. Now, a lot of times, a lot of people hear all these noises in air conditions, and mechanics will say, oh, it's bugged, throw it away, you know, get a new one. But at $900, $1,000, it's, it's quite pricey. And uh, Subaru uh, products are extremely, extremely dear. Come on, Subaru, you can make the products a little bit cheaper than that, surely to God. Um, we're all going to walk away from Subarus if they get any more pricier. Um, but in saying that, I took the pulley off, took the clutch off, sorry, took the clutch off, and to get the clutch off, well, there's a lot of lot of things on you on video that show you how to take a clutch off, so I'm not going to go into that. But I took the pulley off, and uh, this is the pulley that I removed from. That's the clutch, and that's the pulley, and this is the old bearing that I got. Now. That goes in there like that. To get that out, there's little tags on the inside there, on the outside here, just here. Little tags, and that keeps the bearing from coming back out again. You'll have to put it on a flat surface and give it a bang with a, with a nice little hammer, with a reasonably good sized hammer, with a socket, a big, I think it's a 32 mil socket fits them, I'm not sure, uh, to knock it through, just to break those clips then take it down and get it pressed out. Um, that's the proper way of really doing it, I think. Um, but what I did, I just got some timber underneath it and I knocked it straight through because I was in, impatient. Um, knocked the bearing out, went down, had a hell of a job trying to find a new bearing. Uh, they just didn't have the same bearing, they don't seem to make them. And, uh, but the guy at the bearing shop, he spent about a half an hour searching and he found one in his shop basically the same size. So I thought, beautiful little beauty. So I'm going to take it down and, and get this compressed back in, into there, put it on, and we're going to see if that's going to fix my screaming problems, and I do mean screaming problems, in here. When I did take it apart, inside this shaft here, there was a lot of small filings all piled up in a magnetic sort of a hold. So that's what made me think that it was this, um, it was this barren. It doesn't seem too bad. It's gritty. Fairly, yeah, it's gritty enough, and I think it's breaking down, and the Baron is locking up every now and again, and the belts are screaming. Uh, she's just pulling around on it because this is not working, you know. But we'll find out. If that's not the problem, well, then the problem is in there, and I have never pulled one of them apart. I've never pulled an air conditioner apart, so it's a new one on me. You've just got to do these things because it's too costly to do. But uh, that's where I'm up to. And as soon as I get my little Subaru back on the road again, uh, winter time, we'll be out doing some four-wheel driving and some adventuring and having a great time like all you blokes are doing. With a little bit of air conditioning. In Australia, our temperature gets up to about 44. I know at Burke this year it was 47 degrees. Uh, I think it was Burke or Coba, I'm not sure. And that gets a little bit hot, so we've got to have a, a, our air conditions running really good because we use them all the time. And because we use so much on our air conditioning because of this weather, it's so hot over here, So uh, I don't know if this has been very helpful to you, but what I did, what I am going to say is what really happens, you'll find that your air conditioner is not working. It may be because there's not enough gas in it and you can get refills to refill them back up again. Or you go down and get the, um, the air conditioned by a bloke to regas your, your car because it just doesn't want to go, it just won't turn on. Must be a sensor there to check it that there's not enough gas for the pump to go so it doesn't burn out the pump. Um, that can be a little, yeah, you can get caught with that. And like I said, either the pulley or the bearing. It's one of them three things. After that, well, you know, you're looking at a new compressor, probably eight, nine thousand dollars for a new compressor in Australia. And uh, that's the way it's going. I hope this has been very helpful. And remember, you're important, so stay safe. There's only one of you, and uh, we don't want to see you catch this nasty virus. So do everything you can, sanitize, Keep the masks on and stay safe. Catch you later.